Hey guys, it's Kelly. I'm going to do a quick check-in with you on my nails that I started out with on Monday. So I put them on Monday and it's now late Friday night and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on. Okay, so as you can see, the nails are on. They still look cute. I've gotten a couple of compliments on them, but so far I've noticed that it really seems to me that these nails, these Kiss Presso nails, are meant for very temporary use. They are really, they are really pretty. They just don't ever really feel like they become part of your fingers. <laughs> Not like acrylics or other things do. And so, as a result, it, you find yourself, you catch yourself being overly careful because you're afraid that you're going to rip it off your nail. <laughs> and um, they feel foreign. I can't, if I'm picking up something off the floor, like a coin, for example, I have a hard time feeling the coin with the tips of the nails. So that's a problem. Now, what you don't see, and it will probably be very difficult to see, this hand, if you can see the, the edge of this nail, I don't know if you can or not. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. The very edge of each nail, it's getting nicks, and little dents, so to speak, in it. There you can sort of see the rough edge on it right there. It snags your clothes, it snags anything. Um, so, this is where the real problem comes in. Uh, you can see that I've trimmed this back and I don't know if you can see what kind of shape my cuticle's in, but it is very painful. So, these nails, I put them on Monday mid-morning. This one popped off right after I got out of the shower. It popped off almost immediately and I thought, oh, okay, here we go. But I re-glued it, put it back on, and noticed that it seemed like it was going to stay for a while. Well, the cuticle started hurting me and I noticed that the nail itself and the glue were all like very flush against my cuticle. I don't know. I've looked at the box. I've looked at the glues. I don't know if there's any latex in there or not, but I am severely allergic to, to latex. So I don't know if that is what has caused this. I've actually had to go in with a pair of trimmers and trim this away from the cuticle so that it won't touch. It started really bothering me. It started hurting. Um, several of the other nails, the, the tops of them are still splitting and they're hurting. This one, I mean, I, the only thing I do, it, you know, it is what a normal person would do, you know, showers during the day, washing my hair, cleaning the kitchen up, you know, that sort of thing, but not a tremendous amount of overworking the nails. I think that they've stood up to looking fairly decent, but I inspected them really closely. And what I have really seen with all of these nails that are doing well, there this is really not protecting my nails. It's just, it's like a costume or it's like makeup. It's just superficial and it's just there. My nails don't seem to be growing underneath there. Um, usually by now with acrylics I can already see within a week I can already see my nail beginning to show up and I'm not so I don't feel like that it's helping my nails to grow any or protecting them in any way in fact I think it's it's maybe doing a little bit more harm than good this one right here is loose and as soon as it I can get it completely off without having to tear my nail or anything like that if it just pops off on its own then I'm you know they're beginning to lift. This one lifted when I was in the shower a bit ago. Um, it 
it just it lifts right up I don't think that I'll be able to show you on camera either but I'm noticing that several of them are getting loose against the cuticle and yeah so so far after a week what I'm finding is other than a possible reaction that I've had that's just to you know personal to me I think that they're cute I think that they're a great alternative for someone who needs nice nails for maybe two or three days but beyond that I wouldn't say that these are long term um, not a week not two weeks <laughs> these these are very temporary and I, you know I realize that that's the situation but they're way more temporary than I thought they would be so just keep that in mind they're really cute I've gotten a lot of compliments on them and that sort of thing but yeah they're just I noticed that every one of them, this one was the only one that was actually flush against my cuticle. And because it was flush against my cuticle, I've had this reaction and it looks like it's just been eat up. And so, yeah, I would just be careful. If you're gonna use these for a temporary purpose, you know, for a couple of days, you're going to a wedding or something like that during this warm weather, I would just say that when you do apply them, make sure that you don't put it flush against the cuticle itself. Leave just a tiny bit of room, which is what I did on the other nails. When I reapplied this one, I think I just put it on too close to my actual cuticle, and that's why I have had this issue. Because you can see it's, it's lifting, and it's very uncomfortable. If I had this to do over again, I would say, okay, this will be good because I've got to go to a certain place and I need nice nails for a day or two. And I would probably not put quite as much nail glue so that they would, you know, they would come off qu more quickly because they're stuck pretty good except for the ones that are lifting at the cuticle. So, yeah, temporary situation, very cute but not for me. <laughs> so I just wanted to check you guys in on these and, and let you know my thoughts. My thoughts and my opinion may not be anything what yours may be. I just prefer acrylics and I, I've got a feeling that's just what I'm going to have to go with. So I'm going to let these naturally wear away and wear off. Let them pop off on their own because if I try to take them off, I'm going to do more damage to my nails. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to let them come off on their own. Yeah. So that's it guys. I hope that um, you are interested in my little check back and I hope that you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And that's going to be it. You guys have a great evening. Love you. Bye.